Kumusta? I'm Carl Jason, your reviewer of Anything Asian. And for this episode of Kaja Reviews, I'll be reviewing Korea's number one ice cream on a stick, and that is Melona. Specifically, their classic melon and also their strawberry flavor. So, are you ready? Kaja! Kaja! Hajimimashite! Watashi wa karu desu! Annyeonghaseyo! Jonun! Kal iyeyo! Bangawo yo! Okay, okay. So my English is back and welcome to Kaju Reviews. If you're new to my channel, give some love and hit that subscribe button. Your support to this channel will help it grow so that we can make more awesome reviews. Now, Let's begin. So where did Milana originate? Well, as mentioned in my intro earlier, it is from South Korea. This was introduced way back in 1992 by Bingui. So, that one, Bingui. A South Korean company specializing in fast-moving consumer goods, aka FMCG. They are very popular in their home country, especially for their banana-flavored milk, which is Korea's number one. This is why you can see it in many Korean dramas. Unfortunately though, I haven't tried the banana-flavored milk, but I have tried the other Bingrei products like the Pangtowa, an ice cream dessert, sandwich in a cake, and my personal favorite, the Samanko which is also an ice cream sandwich, but this one is shaped like a fish with a red bean filling. More on the Milona, this has been exported to many countries, including the United States in 1995, which became popular in Hawaii. For the Philippines, I am not sure when was this released, but I can recall that I first had my Milona way back the early 2010s, when I was still a college student. I remember that I would be bringing my friends to this Korean store and we would be eating after our classes, during the breaks, and yeah, those were the memories. As for the price, well, it varies, but most of the time, it is sold in Korean stores and per piece. So one piece in that Korean store that we bought this one, we got it for 25 pesos each. and. That's roughly about half a US dollar. There's also other flavors that I've seen online, namely the mango, the coconut, and the taro, but I haven't seen it personally in any Korean market or even the local grocery. I haven't seen those flavors, but I could only see the strawberry and the melon, which we'll be focusing for today. Okay, I'm very much excited to try these again because my last try of Madonna last time that I had this was three years ago before the pandemic and yeah that was a long time ago so let me just get the actual ones because as you can see this are just boxes and it would have melted with my long intro so I'll be back Now I'm back and we'll start this review with <laughs> so I'll just show it here with the classic Milan and Melon. So here's the box. Here's the actual ice cream on a stick. And here's my palette cleanser for Peter when I shift to the strawberry. So let's just open the melon. see it. The color is bright green. <sighs> Six and a half hours later. So the color is bright green. And I want to try it now. Okay, I don't know why, but when I was shooting my B-roll, the melon that I have tasted is not the same as this one, but 
the flavor of this is more profound. It's more melon and it is similar to what I have tasted years ago. <laughs> By the way, when I first had my Milona, I was confused as to why it's colored green because in the Philippines and in many Southeast Asian countries, we're familiar with the melon as orange. You know, this one, the cantaloupe. But for Milona, I think they have used the honeydew melon. That's why it's colored green. Anyways, it's really yummy. It doesn't have like a strong smell. Just a little hint of melon, but the flavor is really good. To be honest, I am not really much of a fan of Melona when I was young. But now, maybe because of AJ, no, I'm still in my 20s by the way. And I don't know, I like it. The flavor is really balanced, it's a strong melon flavor. It's coming in. And I'll just finish this one. And I'm finished with the melon. Now, time to go with the strawberry. Now, time for the strawberry melana. So, here's the actual product. And this one. Okay. Three twenty-eight a.m. I'm having a hard time removing the melana right now because this one got melted. As you can see with the shape, it was supposed to look like this one, a long one. But anyways, that's just a shape. <laughs> of course, the palate cleanser, just a plain water. Okay, so now I'm ready. It's also good, but my preference for strawberries is that I want strawberry desserts to have this sweet and tangy flavor. Tangy meaning sour, a bit sour, but this one just tastes sweet. Like the sweet strawberry, if you're familiar with the pokey, like the pokey strawberry, it kind of tastes like this one, or even the strawberry milk that you can see in where groceries are the ones that we have during our kindergarten days. So, yeah. <laughs> For Melona, especially the melon one, I see that it's really perfect during the hot summer days or in late evenings while watching your favorite Netflix or just YouTube, just like me. See? So, I just finished this one and I'll focus more on our review. And now I'm done. Okay, so we're back with the review. For a summary, I really like the Milana, especially this one, the melon one. It's really the bomb because it tastes like actual melon, like the actual honeydew melon. But for the strawberry flavor, it's a so-so. As mentioned, I want strawberries to have like a sour taste, especially for desserts. And for this one, I like this one. <laughs> so I guess you know my rating. But of course, I'm fair. Okay, for the actual rating, I'm giving the Strawberry Milana a rating of 4.1 stars out of 5. And for the case of the classic Milona Melon, I'm giving it a rating of perfect 5 stars out of 5. By the way, if you're curious on how I've given my food ratings, here's a closer look on the Cadre Review's food rating scale. Please do note that the taste criteria has a triple weighted value. And there we have it. This episode of Cadre Reviews has just ended. 
please do subscribe if you enjoyed this video, hit the like too and ring the bell icon to be notified when my next video is up. Again, this is Carl Jason and I'll see you on the next one. Annyeong!